Friends, often on Windows operating system, uh, you have a process which is writing to a log file and you want to view the uh, real time values getting logged. Uh, but you will get this error where it says uh, that the uh, file is being used by a different process. Uh, you cannot open this particular file, do not have permissions. I'll show you a typical scenario where I have a Java process which is writing to a particular log file and I'm not able to view that particular log file. So you see this particular uh, access.log. If I try to open this to see what values are recorded, uh, I get this error where it says um, it is in used by another application cannot be accessed. This problem does not happen in Unix because in Unix you have a tail command, you have um, other commands by which you can access the real time um, you know, data that is getting into the logs. So um, in order to uh, get the tail functionality, uh, tailing of a log file where you can see the real time values of a log file, uh, you can actually get the same functionality of tailing a particular log real time on uh, Windows operating system as well. So basically I was looking out for free softwares uh, which you can easily uh, download in use. So I leave a link in the description from where you can download all of these. Okay. Let me quickly talk about the Unix util software. So this, you know, package um, helps you run. Uh, this package helps you run not just only the uh, tail command, but there, there are several other Unix commands. You know, you just get used to typing ls and lrt for listing the directories. And, uh, you know, there are typical uh, Unix command that you use too often. Uh, and if you want uh, to use the same, not just the tail command, uh, you can download this particular Unix utils. I have downloaded and extracted the uh, Unix util package and uh, I, I just want to show you. Uh, so I'm on the D drive. You see this Unix util folder once you download and extract it. This has USR for user, user folder, which has local folder and which has wbin folder. Now you see here is the tail.exe, the tail command that would work eventually. What you can do guys is just copy this particular path. Okay. Just copy this particular path wherever the, uh, you know, the Unix command exes are kept and set them in the system environment. How do you do that? Go to the my computer, go to properties in Windows 7. I'm talking about um, go to advanced system settings here and environment variables and path. Okay. So just edit the existing path. And I've already given, see, semicolon and the path and then semicolon again uh, to wbin directory. Now what will happen is once you do that, every time you open the command prompt, uh, you can use the tail command. Okay. See the tail command is working. So you can give the path to the access.log which was not opening and it will show you the real time uh, entries that are getting logged in that particular log file. Okay, now I want to talk about another software which is Bear Tail. Okay, this is also a freeware software. I have it open here. Okay, so it is currently monitoring the uh, the access log that we talked about. This is the one access log that we talked about. Now I'll just show you a sample uh, where you will see uh, you you see after this value it will show whatever is currently getting logged in into this particular log file. So I'll open a private window and try to hit my application. Now, as soon as this application comes, you see it, it got logged and let me just try to do this again. I, I'll refresh. Okay, and you'll see a new entry will be logged after this. You see here, and I'll show you again. So it is 3006. I'll say refresh again. Let's go back after 3006. Okay, 3003. Okay, so you can monitor uh, using Bear Tail, and in the end, we talk about another software. It is called Tail for Win32. So guys, I hope this was helpful and uh, you'll, you know, these are very small programs. This is around less than 300 KB, not even half an MB. And likewise, this one, and this is around six MB, but then this gives you 
uh, a lot of uh, other Unix commands to use. So guys, I think it, if it was helpful, uh, in the comment section, you can share other softwares uh, which help you do the same. And if they are in any way better than this, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I found it helpful and thought, you know, I should share it with the community. Have a good time.